Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about polystyrene, also known as styrofoam. These cups, everyone's familiar with. Polystyrene gets kind of a bad rap because a lot of it ends up in landfills, floating in the ocean. It is actually, there is a method that people have for recycling it, and if you take pure orange peel oil and spray it on, it will start to dissolve it into a gel. That gel can be used to coat wood, it can be used as an adhesive. When it dries, it dries very clear and very hard. You can also do a method that I'm going to show you where you can get micro strands that are about 1 50th the diameter of a human hair roughly. These micro strands can catch bugs. I've caught bugs in the office with it. I put a piece up next to a spider web and the spiders the next day had it incorporated into their web. They seem to work right around it. You can also weave this into a fine tube that can be used to form different shapes. These tubes act like a membrane. This would allow for possible structural setups for cell migration. So you can have different types of cells grown across it. It could be a good skeleton structure for growing cells. I simulated an artery set up in a water solution and it worked pretty good. When I was 10 years old, I harvested orange peels. I got about an ounce, it took several hundred oranges, we have orange groves all around us. I noticed that when you take an orange peel and squeeze it, it dissolves certain types of plastic and also polystyrene. I dissolved a few cups when I was a kid, didn't really do anything with it, it did harden into the nice firm gel the next day. When it hardens, the orange smell goes completely away. So I'm going to be showing you some techniques that I did to get the microfine strands and also to get a nice solid adhesive or coating for wood or cement. The idea behind this is to use scrap styrofoam. Don't use brand new cups. Probably want to wash it out. I'm going to use this dirty cup for the demonstration. In order to get this adhesive, you need pure orange citrus spray. This is 100% orange peel. It's not anything else in there. It's pure orange peel. So we're going to set this up. We've got a stopwatch in the back so you can see. We're going to put this on time lapse. So what you end up with is a clear liquid. The polystyrene actually turns a clear color. It'll work with just about any uh, type of styrofoam cups. Really work good. If you need to add more, you can take a large chunk like this and put it in there. And it just starts dissolving it. What you want to do is take a towel once you have your solution set and all you do is find a nice clean spot, press it down and pull up real slow. And what you're left with are these microfine strands that will extend a long way. It's like a spider web material. So it has been 12 hours and this has adhered to the metal. It will not come off. Here's the little spot that we did and here's the strands. If you look, the styrofoam cup has turned completely clear and it's a super adhesive to the cardboard. It is like this amazing glue that um, holds very tight. It dries crystal clear.
What's cool about this is that these friendly exterminators that we have in our office, this piece right here, they've incorporated into their web. It was hanging down and I came back and it's all wrapped up in there. So I don't know if it tricked them, but <coughs> the dust is terrible up here. Ah. The, um, they, this piece right here is synthetic. It's many, many strands bundled together. We keep the spider webs because uh, they act as natural traps for bugs. In future videos, we are going to be working with building material made out of polystyrene to make different shapes and even some parabolic mirrors. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.